welcome back sports gamers it's the natural so one day cameron irvine picked up a two dollar copy of all pro football 2k8 from a used game bin years later his imagination and passion has yielded a full-time job as commissioner of the simulation football league a group of former football coaches that have returned to watching film identifying weaknesses in their opponents and configuring game plans Countless former football players with injuries and or age that prevent them from playing now are back on the field today in the virtual locker room, battling next to their teammates vying for that championship that has always escaped them in real life. So the SFL is not only about strategy and game day drama, it's about stories and dreams, and it's available to everyone. The SFL has over 600 real people that take the field each week. Thousands watch on televised games on Saturdays. Weekly shows discuss last week's game and predict next week's outcomes. The immersion of it all now has many in the league caring more about the outcome of their SFL season than the results of their favorite NFL team game. So what exactly makes the SFL so special? The game they experience, weekly podcasts, passion of its members and commissioner. It appears that Cameron Irvine has created the one thing that all of us video game football fans desire, an immersive and engaging franchise experience. Now does all this mean that the SFL is the best video game football league ever? Let's take a closer look and you tell me what you think in the comment section below. Obviously in Baltimore gets to recalibrate now on 36. 137 left. It's a three-man rush. Wigmore will bomb it for Chima. He high points it against Benefield and makes the catch. Off to the races he goes. Hit from behind by Dags. Inside the 30 and there's that Baltimore quick strike offense. And they burn a timeout. Interesting there, Tim, because what that means is if they score and they don't get the onside kick, all Mexico City has to do is finish the clock out. It was a great play by Chima, an even better play by Mike De or Jeffrey Daggs to track him down and make the tackle there in bounds, and it forced Baltimore to make it. Chima and Irvin have both been tremendous as they have been all season. One and two in the SFL in receiving yards in the regular year. Wigmore, short drop, floats it up, caught. First down, Baltimore. A gain of about 12 down to the 16 yard line. Back. Chima's got another one. What a big spot out of this. Tailback set for the Baltimore. This way, Irvin makes the catch, but he's stuck immediately by Brody. Not a good route. Got to go to Chima in the middle of the field right here. 60 seconds left in regulation. Baltimore down by nine. Under a minute now. Wigmore again, short drop. Bullets in one-handed catch. Stopped at the goal line. Wow. Wow. Dags is wow is right. Jeffrey Dags with the stop. Irvin here. He will throw. Wigmore evasive action. Checks it down. Oh, no way. There, he evaded the rush. Opening route with Irvin was not open at the bottom of the screen. Wigmore bails out of there, somehow finds T. Roy Gaines, and it's hard to bring down that big boy with only a yard away. Onside kick coming up. Yeah, they did burn their first of three timeouts, which means if they do not get this onside kick, then Mexico City has the chance to finish the game out. They have to have this. Third all-time playoff meeting between two of the best SFL teams in recent league history. They split the first two. A spot in the title game at stake. The kick from Tarkington is picked Baltimore up has by it. Baltimore. They've got it. It's Marvin Johnston who makes the play for Baltimore. Wow, unreal. Let's take a look at the replay, Tim. Off of the hands of the Mexico City defender, the second guy cannot dive and grab it and Baltimore has a chance. Here's the thing, only need a field goal. That block extra point means that a three point kick from Shark Tarkington wins the game, not ties it. They only need about 25, 30 yards to get in his range, you would think. From their own 45, Wigmore wants more than that. Diving catch by Irvin, and he's down to the 31. That's good enough right there. 
Yeah, if I'm Baltimore, I would run the ball right up the gut. They're not in the formation for it, but you can kick it from here. From the gun, Wigmore will throw again. Same play, same results. Urban's got it again, down to the six. Clock running with 20. And they have plenty of timeouts here. Baltimore might have just put themselves in the championship game. Back to back, big time throws from Jack Wigmore to Ivory Irving. Now Shark Target didn't give me a chance to breathe. Snap for Robert Clayton, hold from Adam Jefferson, the kick from Shark Tart continues second of all time, and SFL field goals made with better than 200. Snap down, hold down, the kick from Tarkington is good, and with triple zeros on the clock, Baltimore walks it off. The number one seed vultures are into the title game for the second time in three years. Wow. Welcome to Sim Football Post Game, and Mike, your heart aches for Mexico City, but it is Baltimore and Florida, the clash of the Titans, four uh, championships between the two teams. Uh, what a finish for Baltimore, uh, just stunning. You were you were saying behind the scenes it was one of yeah. if not the best game you've ever seen. Yeah, Cam, okay, considering the weight of this game, it, it's definitely one of the best games that I've ever witnessed in the SFL, and yeah, uh, I, can't, I can't imagine what those guys in that Mexico City uh, locker room are feeling right now. I know, I know those guys are hard So it'll be Florida and Baltimore in the championship next Saturday, 2.30 Eastern on Next Level Sports. And for the fans, uh, Mike, in 30 seconds, how can we summarize what we're going to see next weekend? Uh, you're going to see an amazing uh, SFL football game, Cam. Uh, two of the uh, best franchises over the last couple of seasons. Baltimore won the championship in uh, season 15. Uh, uh, Florida making a return trip from uh, last season where they lost uh, last season's championship game. And uh, they've actually been one of the better teams over the past couple of seasons. And you're going to see an amazing game next week uh, with that uh, great defense in, of uh, Florida going up against this uh, high-powered offense of uh, Baltimore. The championship goes through Baltimore. It is Baltimore's first ever hosting of an SFL championship game. They won their first as a four seed in Sioux Falls. They will host Florida next week, and it's probably going to be a little colder too. And uh, it's, it should be a fun game next Saturday. For Mike St. Green, I'm Cameron Irvine. 45-44, Baltimore beats Mexico City in a classic. Florida takes down Arizona 24-17 earlier today to move on. And we'll see Florida and Baltimore in the championship next weekend. For Mike, I'm Cam. This has been a presentation of the Simulation Football League presented by APM Music. And we are out of here. One yard away from a 100-yard day. Daly Holder having the game of his life here in the title game. 48-yarder for Shark Tarkington to make it a five-point game. And the field goal is money. Third down and 10 at the 21 yard line for Cochran trying to keep the Storm Championship hopes alive as Ron Cochran's in trouble and he's sacked! And they gotta go for it on fourth and 19, Tucker Lewis, just the second sack of the day. Cochran had nowhere to go, that Baltimore defense, applied pressure, Cochran's gotta let one go here. Fourth, fourth ball game. and forever. They need the 31 yard line. Cochran, deep! It is caught by Bush! Backfield 40! 30! Bush down to the 27 yard line! Unbelievable! They're out of timeouts, they gotta run up and spike it! Second and 10 at the 27 yard line. Cochran cannot take a sack! Cannot take a sack! Oh, Cochran goes down! They're not gonna get back in time! Five! Fourth three and Baltimore is going to win their second championship. Unbelievable finish. Congratulations to Baltimore for coming back and getting their second title in three seasons. Eric Vincent alongside might say Green and Damon Simeon. Fellas, what a game. Like th this was one for the ages here. I mean I know we had a walk-off field goal last year, but uh, come on, man. Like, th this this had it all. This had it all. Mike St. Green, I'll go with you yeah. for your first reaction. Yeah, er Eric, man, look, it's a couple of things you live for when you uh, join this league. One, uh, you look forward to, you know, being in the part of the draft and hearing your name called. And the other one you look forward to is 
participating and being or even being a part of this game and uh, uh this championship uh game and champions championship atmosphere man it it was great being here watching it was great watching the game itself i mean incredible game uh baltimore i mean kudos to baltimore they, they've been they've proven they've been the best team all season long and they proved it in the second half of the day these guys are down. and ladies and gentlemen the first pick of the draft is in we will send it to Cameron Irvine for the first overall pick in season 18's draft. Good evening, Tyler. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, Cam. It's good to see you again. Yes, yeah, good to see you as well. Rookie draft night, always sensational. And we are ready, over 200 people watching, to see who's going to get the number one overall pick. It is Tulsa's, and their pick is in. With the first pick of the season 18, SFL Rookie Draft, the Tulsa Desperados select. Douglas Brown, running back. The second pick is Fort Worth's. You are on the clock via Sioux Falls. So it's not GP Wells. It's not Randy Squarebush. It's one of the hosts of Simpod. Douglas Brown, he gets off the board and it's a well-deserved pick. Impressed everybody at the convention. He is absolutely hyped right there. He has a oh, look at that. That's amazing. If you haven't checked out Simpa, that must be beer number probably three on the night. But you can see behind him the banner he had everybody signed that was at the convention. Hats off to you, Douglas Brown. Eddie, we were both at the convention. We both got to meet this man in person. Tell me what you like about him. The guy has great energy. As he said, he, he couldn't wait to get to the convention to meet everybody. I, I spoke to him a number of times you know, on his broadcast and his and things of that nature. Great guy. If you appreciate our content and all the work we do to bring you guys the latest news, tips, and gameplay from your favorite sports games, drop a like, subscribe, SGO today. You want to take your game to the next level? Then join SGO Insider.